Hello, fourth, uh, fourth graders. <laughs> this is your work for math, uh, May the 1st, and I hope you're off to a great start today. Go ahead and take out, uh, take out lesson activity 46. Looks like this. Today we're going to talk about um, pyramids, uh, constructing pyramids. So if you, as you recall yesterday, we talked about um, prisms and constructing prisms, and um, we talked about the similarities uh, between the, or not the similarities to be, um, to be more clear here, it's not similarities. Uh, we talked about uh, how we, when we take apart these shapes or these, uh, the sizes of these shapes, or we take them apart like we would a cereal box that we talked about yesterday. Um, you can also do the same thing with uh, pyramids as well. So we're going to talk about those today. Recall that lesson from lesson from yesterday or from le the lesson from yesterday and the day before. Geometric shapes such as triangles, rectangulars, and circles have two dimensions, length and width. So rectangles and triangles both have two dimensions. They have length and then they also have width. Sorry, width, length. All right. Um, but they do not have depth. These kinds of figures occupy area but they do not take up space. We call shapes such as these plane figures because they are confined to a plane. So just a regular rectangle, a regular square, a regular circle. Shapes that take up space such as cubes, such as pyramids and cones are geometric solids. Geometric solids have three dimensions, length, width, and depth. Sometimes we can simply call these shapes solids. Solids are not confined to a place, so to draw them, we try to create an optical illusion to suggest their shape. So we have a cube, a pyramid, and also a cone. There, in lesson 99, we, saw, uh, we studied the, uh, the models of rectangular prisms and triangular prisms. In this lesson, we're gonna study models of pyramids, all right? So we're gonna take this out. It's gonna be a short lesson here. Um, you're going to do much like we did yesterday with yesterday's lesson. You are going to cut this out, cut out the patterns for the pyramids and the shaded parts of each pattern are tabs to help hold the figures together. So, um, I know I didn't really explain yesterday, but what you're, what you're supposed to do here is these tabs are kind of holding the shapes together or the, the, the prisms together. So if you have tape there at home or if you have glue, um, glue or tape, go ahead and tape those up and you should have a triangular prism by the end there of that pyramid. Okay. If you want to work with, you know, if you have, uh, someone at home that wants to help you, they can help me. I know I help you not help me. <laughs> they would help me if they help you. But, um, so let's refer to these as soon as you're finished cutting those out, you're going to refer to those models that you make once you cut this out here. Um, and actually, let me help you a little bit here because I feel like you would like somebody to kind of, kind of help you teach you step by step here. Hey, let me, um, this is a short lesson. Hey, if you didn't do this on yesterday's lesson, make sure you do this. I didn't do it. Um, I didn't explain that yesterday, but um, I'm cutting this. I'm just cutting along here, along the lines. So I'm cutting with you. Okay, you're cutting with me cut the edges, just cut along the gray lines. Don't cut the dotted uh, lines, those are there to help you. So just so you know, I'm just gonna do one with you. All right, so once I cut this out, it should look like this, okay? All right, now I'm gonna fold uh, where the dotted lines are at. Fold those. And actually, I think they should be folded up like this. All right. How is your cutting in uh, going along there, fourth graders? Are you doing this with me? I know it kind of feels funny to do online classes and to have the teacher not really watching you, but make sure that you are um, doing this with me. 
All right, so I'm just folding these as you see. Okay, folding the edges now. Okay, and now I'm gonna fold this. So now I wanna fold the, the four edges first. Okay, all right. Now, this is all right. I think I've got this down. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this first here. Okay, it's actually pretty cool. I like this activity. All right, so I got one side taped down. You gotta tape down the other side. Boys, you're probably liking these, this activity here. Okay, so I got one side uh, done, all righty? I did it with tape, you could do it with glue. I'd probably, uh, I'd probably do it with glue or with scissors. Scissors, all right, don't know what I'm saying. Um, pregnancy brain there again. All right, so. <laughs> This is really cool, all right? This is kind of fun for y'all, all right? Um, I didn't do it yesterday, for le yesterday's lesson. Um, but we're gonna do it for this lesson today, all right? Let's see, somebody coming there. I think it's the Argometto girls there that are coming by. All right. All right, so now that I'm finished, okay, this is what my uh, what my pyramid would look like. Isn't this cute? It's so cute. I'm loving it. All right, once you get your own uh, your own thing there finished, you're gonna love the outcome of this. It's really cute and small, but nonetheless, cute, cute miss. All right, um, so now that you have this, go ahead and do this one. I know you would love to see me do this one, and I'm already having fun with this one here. So you have the uh, square pyramid. This is a square pyramid that we just did, and you're gonna do the triangular uh, pyramid that you're gonna do there, the 3D dimensional one, okay? So I'm gonna stick this here. I'm gonna keep that for the rest of my life because it's so cute and I had so much fun making it. All right, so we're gonna refer to this pyramid here uh, with a square base. That's a square base here that you see. See the base, okay, that has a square base. So um, how many faces does the pyramid have? And what are the shapes? So let's count the faces of this pyramid. There's one, two, three, four, and then the last one, five. All right, so we have five faces to this pyramid, the square pyramid. Okay, and what are the shapes? How many triangles do you see here? We see one, two, three, and four. Okay, there you go. And then uh, we see four triangles and then one square on the bottom. All right. I should have done this for yesterday's lesson. I don't know why I didn't do it, but um, if you can go back to that and construct that and make sure that you cut it out and do what you know we did here, that would be great. And it's a lot of fun. All right. Um, and then let's keep asking asking these questions here or answering the question. Does this pyramid have any parallel uh, faces? Does it have any parallel faces? No, it doesn't. Okay. The only face that it has, and these are not parallel. They're kind of like me at the middle here, okay? So they're not parallel, and there's nothing parallel to the base there, okay? Um, does this pyramid have any parallel or per perpendicular edges? Do you see any parallel or perpendicular edges? Okay, I do see some edges that are parallel. The base part here, um, the opposite edges of the square base are parallel and adjacent edges are perpendicular. So we see these edges, and then we see that these are perpendicular here, okay? So yes, we, see, we do see them. In the pyramid above, what types of angles are formed by the intersecting edges? What kind of angles do you see here? We see these kind of angles here. What, are, what angle is this? We see acute angles. And then on the bottom here, the base, we see what kind of angles? Right angles. So this pyramid is formed, of, uh, uh, is formed by uh, acute angles and right angles, okay? Um, Alrighty, and then I want you to do the last one uh, on your own. So make sure that you cut these out. Uh, that you did cut these out and didn't just put them, you know, throw them away because it is fun. I think some of you boys would like playing with these, uh, with these little 3D dimensional um, figures, and it would be good for you to answer those questions um, when you get a chance. So, alrighty, um, let's keep going here, and you're gonna do 
answer questions one through 30 for written practice uh, today. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will be glad to help you. All right, bye-bye.